आई एम डॉक्टर मीनाक्षी माओ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर जोलॉजी श्री सामिया जी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज मंडफिया चित्तौड़गढ़ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन क्रोमोजोमल थ्योरी ऑफ सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन वट इज सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन इट इज़ अ बायोलॉजिकल सिस्टम विच डिसाइड दी सेक्शुअल कैरेक्टर सिक्स ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म और ऑफ स्विंग एक्चुअली इट हेल्प्स टू डिटरमाइन वेदर द ऑर्गेनिज्म विल बी मेल और अ फीमेल Chromosomal theory was first proposed by Macklin. According to this theory, chromosomes play a very important role in the determination of sex in most of the diversely organisms. Chromosomes are of two types: autosomes and sex chromosomes. Autosomes determine phenotypic body characters, while sex chromosomes determine sex. Sex determination in heterozygous male is different from heterozygous female sex determination first we will see male heterogamity male male heterogamity means male is heterozygous while female is homozygous male is heterozygous because it produces two types of sperms there are two types of male heterogamity xx x0 type and X X X Y type. First, I'll explain X X X zero type male heterogamity in grasshopper. Here, male is with two complete sets of autosomes plus X zero chromosomes, sex chromosomes, and female is with two sets of autosomes plus. Two X sex chromosomes. Okay, so male produces two types of gametes. That is two types of sperms. C, A plus X and A plus zero. It means half of this sperm is with X chromosome, sex chromosome, but half of from half of this uh, sperm with zero sex chromosomes but female produces only single type of gametes that is x a plus x when a plus x of male fuses with a plus x of female female is produced why because it has two complete sets of autosomes and two x sex chromosomes Okay, now if a female with A plus X fuses with the sperm A plus zero chromosomes, then a male is produced by two A and X zero chromosomes. Hence, male is heterozygous. It is a X X X type male heterogamity. Now we will see X X X Y type male heterogamity. Here, male is with autosomes plus X Y sex chromosomes, but female is with autosomes and two X sex chromosomes. Okay, so male produces two types of sperms, A plus X and A plus Y, but female produces only single type of X. That is A plus X. When A plus X of male fuses with A plus X of female, what will happen? A girl baby will be produced. But A plus Y get fuses with A plus X, then a baby boy would be produced. That is autosomes plus X Y. So autosomes plus X X means male. Oh, sorry, a female, but autosomes plus X Y is a male, so it is a male heterogamity. Now, female heterogamity. In this, in this, female is heterozygous, but male is homozygous because female produces two types of X, and female is heterozygous. There are two types of female heterogamity. Z W and Z Z type 
and Z0, ZZ type. First, I'll explain ZW, ZZ type of female heterogamity in chicken. Female has ZW with autosomes, but male has ZZ with autosomes. Male produces single type of sperm, that is A plus Z, but female produces two types of eggs, A plus Z and A plus W. Now, when A plus Z of female get fuses with the A plus Z, then what happens? Male will be produced because ZZ. Now, when A plus W gets fused with A plus Z, then autosomes plus ZW will be produced, that is female. So, when ZW, female, when ZZ, means same ZZ, then male. So, it is a ZW, ZZ type of female heterogamity. Now, I will explain Z0, ZZ type of female heterogamity. It is found in butterfly. Now, here you can see male produces again single type of sperms, that is A plus Z. But female produces two types of X, A plus Z and A plus O. So, when A plus Z of male is get fuses with the A plus Z of female, then what will we produce? Male, double A plus ZZ. But when A plus Z get fused with the A plus 0, then A plus plus Z0, that is a female. So, when Z0, female, but when ZZ, it's a male. So, it is a type of male, female heterogamity. Now, I'll explain the genic balance theory. According to this theory, ratio between the number of X chromosomes and the number of complete sets of autosomes will determine the sex. C. Pibridge in 1926 discovered that Drosophila with one X and no Y chromosomes were sterile males with normal visible sexual characteristics. It, and it, it should be noted that uh, Y chromosomes has nothing to do with the sex of individuals of Drosophila. So, uh, genic balance theory uh, says that X upon A ratio will determine the sex. Okay. Uh, so, uh, first uh, I will uh, explain one thing that uh, if the ratio is uh, 1 is to 1, then it will be normal female. When it is the ratio 0.5, then it is a male. But, when the ratio is between 0.5 and 1, then intersex. If ratio exceeds 1, then super female. But if it is a less than 0.5, super male will be formed. So, first we will see this table and understand how it, is, how it occurs. So, first there are two complete sets of autosomes, means 2A and 3X. So, ratio is 3 by 2, which is equal to 1.50. 1.5 means normal female. Now, two complete sets of autosomes plus two X chromosomes. So, it is 2 by 2. 2 by 2 is equal to 1. It means it is a normal female. Now, 3A. 3A means three complete sets of autosomes plus 2X and y again it is a 2x y has a nothing to do with the sex so it is 2 by 3 which is equal to 0.67 and it is between 0.5 and 1 so it is a intersex now 2a means two complete sets of autosomes plus xy y has no role x is 1 so it's a 1 by 2 which is equal to 0 0.50 that's a normal male now 2a plus x means two complete sets of autosomes and one x chromosome it is a 1 by 2 which is equal to 0 0.50 it is again normal male now at last 3a means three complete sets of 
autosomes and one X chromosome. So that's a 1 by 3 which is equal to 0.33. It is a super female. So this happens in Drosophila. It is a sex determination which is on the basis of X upon E ratio. So in Drosophila X upon E ratio will determine the sex of the individual. Actually uh, CB Bridge discovered accidentally a triploid female Drosophila that is a triple X triple X and crossed it with normal diploid male and he found means he obtained five kinds of sexually different offspring normal female normal male intersex super female and the super male so uh, he uh, observed uh, each genotype and found that x upon e ratio determine the sex of the prosophila so it's all about genetic balance theory thank you